Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to today's video. My name is Kosimina and in today's video we're gonna play with a few new things that I ordered from Colourpop. So if you're up for that, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so here are all the stuff that I got. Uh, recently, about two, three weeks ago, I know that it's not recently in, sorry about that, in Colourpop years, uh, but they did came up with a new collection that is called Make It uh, Black, and I have it right here. I got the palette, and also I got one of their liners, which is in... Eh, 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 eh. Wish I could tell you. We're going to take them out in boots. It's in boots, okay. And this one, does it have a name? Make It Fearless, it says. And this is how it looks like. But um, while I was on their website, of course, I had to purchase more stuff so I can make it free shipping. So I went ahead and got a, a rounded kabuki brush from Soul Body. And I actually do like how this looks like. So soft and pretty. And you can actually either put foundation on your face or you can apply it on your body or things like that. So I like this one and I'm glad I got it. And I also got this one. This is Little Ray of Sunshine Pressed Powder Palette because it has those mm, yellow tones, you know, more like mustardy tones. And uh, these are colors that I do enjoy and I wanna play with them and see how they are. Uh, but yeah, I am... Uh, I did look at this and I did um, I did swatch this and I'm I'm not extremely excited to play with it. This is how it looks like. Oh damn! Just put my finger in there, my nail in there, um, and it has that yellow right there, which looks a little bit more intense, but it's not. And then you have this uh, orangey shade, which is really pretty that one i do enjoy then you have a little bit like a red mauvey shade and then you have a dark brown in here and then of course you have this more like a golden golden -y shade and of course that one is called light keys and that one it is not intent for use in the immediate eye area so that means it's a pressed glitter now here's the thing um when I purchased this, I really thought this is going to be absolutely awesome, <laughs> uh, especially that yellow. Um, so the way I looked at it, it was sent to me in an email that they were releasing this. There was nothing, nobody talked about this. It was They kept it really shush, shush, shush. Um, and they released it one day out of the blue and I'm actually putting a little bit of uh, primer, eye primer, and this is uh, Luscious Angel Eye Primer, and I'm, so I'm getting my lids ready, but they uh, just released it out of the blue, and I was like, oh, wait, really? What is this? What's going on? And uh, I remember seeing it, and they were saying, oh, yeah, everything, like 100% of the profits, they are going to go to um, a Make It Black organization or something like that. Well, and it's Pull Up for Change and it's a Make It Black campaign. And it says Sharon Chatter, Woma, beauty founder and CEO, is back with another challenge for the beauty industry. Um, the ability to make it black campaign tied to Black History uh, Month to shift perception around what it means to be black. And they, she partnered with non-beauty brands to release limited edition hero products and complete with an updated black product packaging that will raise funds for emerging black founders. And Callpop was one of them. And I remember looking at that and I was like, okay, I want to be 
part of it so I'm gonna grab it and I want to see how it's going to be right and when it got to me and I did um, swatch it I was a little a little bit disappointed um, the yellow mostly I, I know I my expectations of yellow are high and they're very hard to <laughs> they're hard to be met right but that yellow is atrocious we're gonna go through it and play with them so what i'm gonna do i don't even know which direction i want to go but definitely we're gonna try this all right so i'm gonna take this say yes brown right here and just kind of add that one right here in the in the outer portion of my crease right there i'm also going to add a little bit this uh orangey shade on the lid right there and then I'm gonna add a little bit of that high key just to kind of give it a little bit of depth in there these are performing well these are colors that are performing well and they look nice and they're pretty you know I like I like the way they look now Let's go to that yellow, right? And I'm gonna change the brush. So I'm gonna pick up with this one because that yellow has a lot of sparkle in it. And I know it's gonna go all over my face. That's one of the reasons why I don't have foundation yet. But look, look how this yellow performs. That's the yellow. It's it's underwhelming. It's performing very underwhelming for me, for my liking, for the way I thought this is going to be. It's honestly nothing. It's really nothing. Um, so I don't like this. Um, I would say buy this one if you want to support a cause but don't expect this one to be an amazing product because it's not necessarily gonna be amazing you know what i mean like if you look at the other if you buy it for these other shades there's this other three shades because not the glitter the pressed glitter you're gonna be okay but if you buy it for the yellow you're gonna be disappointed All right, so this is how it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same thing on this other eye and then I will come back to look at that eyeliner. All right, so I went ahead and applied a little bit of uh, this foundation from ColourPop, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation and added a little bit of powder and some other stuff that I have currently in Shop My Stash and uh, it's time to play with the liner the liner by the way i was trying to swatch it and see how it is and the tip broke and uh yeah now uh, we don't have the tip anymore which just kind of annoying you know what i mean um but you do have a lot of product in here so that it's good it's not gonna be such a big problem the fact that it broke but it's annoying that is just was so new and he i was just trying to swatch it and just decided to break on me you know what i mean like that's a little bit annoying um but yeah this uh eyeshadow palette it's it's not what i expected it's i told you those three shadows are nice uh, and if you want to go just for those three shadows, then you're going to be okay. But don't expect the yellow to uh, get in a different direction. So let's do under the eyes. I'm just going to go with that very dark brown. 
right here on the outer edge. Right there, and then I'm going to go with that orange shade in the center. And then I'm going to go with that brown again in the front. Just going to give it a little bit of different color combination. I do need to uh, blend it just a tiny bit. So I'm going to take one of these brushes and blend that a little bit. There we go. And then for the liner, I'm going to go and put this one in the waterline. And just a little bit around the lash line. I do need a good mirror. There we go. Let me add a little bit of mascara. I'm going to go with this one from Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. All right, so the mascara is done. I'm going to go and add a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to go with this one from Jarrah Co Cosmetics in Sophia. I really love this highlighter. All right, let's talk. Let's talk about this... Uh, Make it black little collection. Um, do I like? I do like my eye look, and don't get me wrong, I really like those three shades. Like those three shades are nice, like the orange and the red and the brown. But it's nothing spectacular, nothing something out of ordinary. These are shades that have been done over and over and over again. While the yellow, not as much. So that's why when I saw the yellow, I was like, oh my God, finally, they put a yellow in one of their palettes. This is going to be freaking awesome. And it just didn't perform to the expectation that I had, the way that I thought it's going to look like it's not there. You know what I mean? It's just not there. And I just feel like if we're going to make it, because uh, they were the only brand that made a collection for this um, particular uh, thing for Make It Black. All the other brands, they had um, staples that they repackaged for this campaign, but they went all out, right? So they made a whole entire collection uh, to go with it. And uh, in my opinion, if you're just going to go all out, make sure you go all out for everybody. And especially make sure you go all out for deeper skin tones. Um, and that yellow doesn't cut it for me. That's all I have to say. For some people, it may be better. For me, it's not. It's not to my standards. It's not to the way I thought it's going to look like. So there you have it. This is the look. This is the this is the collection. These are my thoughts about it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me on about this one. Let me know if you picked it up, if you like it, if you don't. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.